Hi, Dr. Frank Johnson from Sport Medicine Ultrasound Canada. Going to show you how to find the sciatic nerve as it emerges from the pelvis at the greater sciatic notch. So the patient position is going to be prone. The landmark is going to be the posterior ilium. The probe position or orientation is going to be transverse. And the angle is quite steep. You can see we're looking at the bony ilium. Now, the movements of the probe are simply going to be angled a bit superiorly. And then we're going to move inferiorly until the ilium breaks or falls away. And that's the location of the greater sciatic notch. Through here, you can see the piriformis. And if we slide just a little bit distal, you can see the sciatic nerve emerge. We can then trace the sciatic nerve from here all the way down the femur until it bifurcates, becoming the tibial nerve and the common fibular nerve, previously known as the common peroneal nerve. Here we're going to pick up where we left off with the sciatic nerve at the location it bifurcates to become the tibial nerve and the common fibular nerve, previously known as the common peroneal nerve. So the orientation of the probe is going to be transverse on the femur. The landmark is going to be looking at the posterior femur. The movements are going to be angling until we can see the femur bright. But then we also want to angle until we can see the sciatic nerve nice and bright. We then move the probe or slide distally until we see a bifurcation. The tibial nerve will stay medial and dive a little deep in the popliteal fossa and the co common fibular nerve will swing laterally and come more superficially. And that's what we'll see for tibial nerve as we stay towards the midline, or for common fibular nerve as we come around the corner as it heads towards the anterior aspect of the fibular head. So these are the movements for the probe to scan for the sciatic nerve as it bifurcates to become the tibial nerve and the common fibular nerve. I'm going to show you how to scan and inject the common fibular nerve at the fibular head. We start in the distal thigh. Our landmark is going to be the femur and we're cross section on the femur. We see that in the bottom right hand portion of the screen. I'm now going to reduce our depth and show you the sciatic nerve in this view. There's a sciatic nerve. I'm now going to scan distally until the sciatic nerve bifurcates into the tibial nerve and the common fibular nerve. As I scan distal, you can see the one nerve now turn into two. There is our common fibular nerve. We're now going to follow this down to the fibula. If I decrease my depth of touch, it will improve clarity of the imaging. The final movement will be like this. Here is the common fibular nerve sitting adjacent the posterior fibula. If I then place my probe like this, I can hit done, I can turn on my center line and I can simply place the needle from posterior to anterior and do a perineural common fibular nerve injection at the posterior aspect of the fibula. If I wanted to continue distal and inject the common fibular nerve laterally, I would simply do a small rotation of the femur like this and continue to follow the nerve. I'll pick it up again there, just above the white arrow and follow it distal until it goes from posterior to anterior. And we can see it on the lateral aspect of the fibula just there. So that was a lot of movements, but again, that's how we would follow the sciatic nerve as it bifurcates into the tibial and the common fibular nerve 
previously known as the common peroneal nerve.